What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. Taurus. What's up Tar Tar? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Taurus as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I hope you guys are doing beautifully well today. Um, let's just get right into it. Some of you guys could be called to do something. Okay. I'm going to pull two oracles. And then we're going to see what's up. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess of Earth. But this is in reverse, and I feel like I should keep it in reverse. Um, there's something that is not stable. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this is you as well. There could be something that's not making you feel... Like, something is making you feel off. Something is making you feel uneasy. We're going to clarify what that is at the end, okay? I already, I'm going to pull... Some of y'all might already know what, what you have to do. Okay, and you just might not want to, but that's part of life, my lover. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I don't know why I said my lover. What the freak? Could be your lover, okay? That they they could be unstable. Could be a cancer. All right. First card you have is listening. So you need to pay attention. What it says here is darkness does not always equate to evil and light does not always bring good. It's not always what it seems. Tar tar. It's not always what it seems. Sometimes some sometimes. Sometimes the light comes to show you that there's darkness here. Sometimes the darkness comes to show you that there is no light. So yeah, what is this listening? You have four sisters. Could be about a sister. It doesn't have to be, though. The moon shines brighter after the storm. So either you or someone else is going through a situation that is very scary. Someone is going through something alone. Um... But it's like someone knew this was going to happen. Whether that's you or someone else. Like this with the listening here, it's like it was it was someone already said it or what is this listening and the four sister? I'm hearing I told you so. Three of Pentacles in reverse, the higher in reverse could be another Taurus. Ten of Wands in reverse and the King of Pentacles here. Could be a work thing here. Four of Wands in reverse. So it's like something definitely didn't work out here because it didn't match your morals and your values. Um, and I feel like once you realize this, it's like everything became a lot easier for you. And um, you could have came up financially in some way. Like instantly. And your sister could have told you this or... Um, this wasn't something that was easy for you, though. Could be a Gemini. Yeah, like you had to find out some ish. You know what I'm saying? You had to go through the freaking depths of all the damn depths. Um, but I definitely feel like you could, could have said a separate la 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 la. You could have separated yourself from something here um, that you cared about a lot and you felt a very strong connection to it here but i feel like you found out that there was a lot of injustice happening in this situation and it didn't make you happy here i also feel like your family wasn't really too happy or too fond with this person or this energy or it could be the other way around right take it how it resonates <clears throat> excuse me um i'm yeah i'm a little chilly um so yeah but I honestly want to say, like I said, somebody already told you this was going to happen or um, this energy told on itself. Like whatever you found out with this moon in reverse about this energy, it's like you're you're going back and you're, you're like, wait, but this person kind of told me. This person kind of said this this one time and, and, and I wasn't really it's like you really weren't listening 
Maybe you were just um, listening to what you wanted to hear, not what was actually being said. Okay. But um, yeah. And I feel like if you're going through the situation right now, you're about to come up with the King of Pentacles. You're about to have a, a lot more resources than what you have had. Okay. So whatever that means for you, that's what's different for everyone. All right. The next card you have is hope here. So um, you're still staying hopeful towards something. You have Lady of the Lost. Give to others treasure, life, and all its magic. You know what I'm getting? This is somebody else. This is somebody who is lost and someone feels like you can help them in some way. Or maybe you want to help someone in some way that is lost. Lost. Lost in a thrill of it all. Girl, you know you're lost. Mm. Yeah. Miami, Amsterdam. Tokyo, Spain, lost. It could be that this person like likes to travel around a lot, like to do a lot of things to like keep themselves um, preoccupied. What is this hope and lady of the lost? Queen of Wands in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Swords and the Lovers. Could be a Gemini. You have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this person is pissed off that something isn't going this new it's like you you might not be accepting an offer from this person you might be like um i don't want this and it's pissing them off here but they're not giving up with the page of swords here and the lovers like they are going to keep trying this person has a lot of love for you with the empress here could be an aries dang a lot of aries here um the fool and the emperor in reverse this person is learning how to release control here in order for this new beginning to happen yeah, they got they wanna they wanna tell you that they removed um they got a secret. They got a secret. This person um removed some type of negative thing that was in their life here that helped them change their perspective. Could be a Leo with the sun here. Yeah, and it's like now they know where all their worry is coming from, and it's coming from their past, their family, their sibling. They now see that you're their wish, Taurus. They now see that you are D1. Okay, so this could be you realizing this about somebody else. Take it how it resonates, right? But yeah, that's what I'm getting. And this person feels lost and they feel like they're being guided to come back to you. Like this person feels like you are the person that can help them. Okay, the next card you have is movement here. Cancer energy. So you're being guided to move towards something the fairy harper find the words to long forgotten songs and dance to the music in your soul yeah your soul is definitely guiding you to go towards something here um music could be significant dancing could be significant it's something that's been trying to ignore the way that your soul wants you to go right now what is this movement Eight of Swords in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse, with the Judgment in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're not trying to look at the part that you had to play in a situation because it takes two to tangle. I always say that. Because um, I, I feel like it's going to, you just don't want to look at it. You're just like, no, if I look at it and if I look at what, what you know, I did in a situation, I'm not going to want to do this anymore. I'm not going to want to go towards this anymore. But I feel like you're you're just projecting that. You're you don't know that's what's going to happen. You're just uh, assuming. Yeah, a judgment in reverse, an emperor in reverse and the empress. You're just you just don't want to make this decision. Like you're assuming that. And I know that you're that you're doing that on purpose because you don't want to make the decision that's required. So I'm going to need you to stab it, Tartar. Okay, I'm gonna need you to stop it, release control, and remember who the F you are, okay? It takes two to tango for anything. No one's ever, it's never that person's fault only, ever. I don't care what the situation is. Um, so, 
Yeah, because with the hermit in reverse, you got to hold yourself accountable for certain things in order for this to go smoothly. And I feel like and I feel like you're you're not doing it because you think the other energy is not going to do it. But I don't feel like that's what's going to happen. I think you need to stop making assumptions. And I think that once you put your heart on the table and once you put everything out there, so will this energy. But it's like you can't you can't go into the energy assuming certain things because that it's not going to work out in your favor. Okay. Okay. Let's clarify what this high priestess of earth in reverse is. Somebody might need your help. Like legit. Somebody might need your help. Um, I just got that right now. What is this high priestess of earth? Could be a Virgo. A Gemini. Another Taurus. Virgo Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sag. You have the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Magician, and the Knight of Swords. Whatever is not stable is not meant to work. Taurus. I feel the universe wants you to manifest and go towards something different here. Whatever is not stable, and if you continue to invest in it, you're not choosing yourself. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a job situation. It's like something something that is not working out no more gotta go it's not working out on purpose i feel like you're over you're over giving and, you're, and your cup isn't being replaced um the two of wands in reverse yeah it's causing a lot of delays it's causing a lot of delays for your stuff to come in so it's like is this energy that's unstable worth your your stuff coming in right no nothing should nothing should nothing is ever worth that Right, because you deserve whatever is coming in for you. No blockages. All right, what is this listening and for sister here? You have, it's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio. You could have Scorpio on your chart or be dealing with one. Or this could have been a Scorpio. Yeah, um, it's time for you to release this energy, point, period, blank. Sayonara, mother, you know what I'm saying? Look at the bigger picture. Right, look at the bigger picture here. This doesn't match your morals and your values. If at first you encountering the energy, it doesn't match your morals and your values. Nothing about it is going to change during the course of that time. Because if it doesn't match your morals and your values, then why are you even at the store? If the store don't got what you want, why are you at the store? Do you think that the store people are going to magically come up with something to give you? No. They're, they're going to go in the back stock room and just find exactly what you're asking? No. If they don't have it on display, then they don't have the product anywhere. It's not like you staying in the store for a longer period of time that it'll like magically appear, you know? It's that's hopeful thinking and it's beautiful, but we have to be realistic, you know? Um, what is this hope and lady of the lost? You have hold your vision. Don't let pride get in your way. So this person feels like um, you're an honest person. This person feels like you don't give up on things um like you hold your vision to things and that's why they um that's why they want to come towards you that's why they don't want to give up on you could be a leo but i feel this person is from your past because you have don't let the past hold you back but this could also be thought past things that happened with this person past thoughts but i'm getting more so it's a past person so just be careful with that what is this movement and the fairy harbor? You have the end of a subtitle approaches Capricorn energy. Yeah. What else? I feel like you're the one that could stop this cycle from like, just hold yourself accountable. That's that's a new start is coming. Yeah. All you got to do is be honest with yourself and the other energy and a new start will happen and flourish and be beautiful here. You have prosperity lies ahead. It could be with another Taurus. But I do feel like money, stability is coming towards you. All you got to do is be honest with yourself and hold yourself accountable for the things that you're not looking at within yourself. All right, Taurus. All right, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.